Tell us about today's panel and about some of the issues about race and the internet and, and your thoughts on it. Absolutely. So I did a panel called Race and YouTube. It was talking about sort of the things that you deal with when you, it comes with racism and things like that, which we, you know, all, <laughs> we're all aware that it exists, but there's a special thing about it with YouTube because sometimes you, you hear all this advice and you hear all these people and give you all these tips of how to be a YouTube creator, and it's great for the blanket statement. But obviously when you're a certain type, and it can be any type, it can be age, gender, race, whatever, there's going to be certain difficulties or certain hurdles that you may have to jump that another YouTuber may not have to jump or may not have to worry about. So what we were talking about is like how, you know, being having a racial identity on YouTube, whether you are fully talking about that at all, or if it's just you just happen to be a black person or age person or whatever on YouTube, how that can be effective to you. It can be effective in how you get seen. It can be effective in if brands want to work with you because they're trying to hit a mainstream audience sometimes. And maybe it's definitely effective in comments because while a lot of people are always going to comment on videos about how dumb they are or how much they don't like them, it seems like when you have someone of a specific race that you go see negative comments, they almost always are a racial slur or they always are some kind of race-related thing. Um, I've even talked about how even though I'm black nerd comedy, like people get mad at me about my name. And I've also been talking about how I'm not black enough <laughs> for some people and stuff. So, you know, these are things that... How I'm do you deal with all that stuff? Um, you have to take it with a grain of salt. You know, a lot of people have their opinions. Not everyone's going to like you. That's just how it works. Even the top YouTubers on YouTube have someone that hates them with a passion. It's just, it happens. It's what you deal with. And with the hating, as far as race goes, you know, we this is the society we live in. Racism is not dead. It's out there. So, of course, it's going to make its way to YouTube, and especially in a format where you can be anonymous. Where you don't have to, you can use a username. You can use an image that's not you. It's very easy for you to say things you would never say in public on online online. See, you just have to take it with a grain of salt. A lot of times when people do that kind of stuff, they want attention. They want to be seen. This is their way of doing it. And I think if you dwell too much on it to the point where it makes you quit, you're letting them win. If, it, if you give them their attention, you reply back, it lets them win. That was something I had to stop doing. I tried to be like, I'm going to make a witty comment, but I was like, I got to stop doing that because they don't need that attention. The people that need attention are the ones that are watching every one of your videos and are sharing your stuff, that are making the extra effort. Because what I've learned is that when someone loves a video, they're less likely to say something about it because they feel like they're there. They We've watched it. We like it. We don't feel the need to go, okay, I like this. So one thing when people do that, when they leave a comment, when they share it, that's who you appreciate. You know, that's who you put your attention towards. And you ignore the other people because you ignore them long enough. They, they find someone else to torment. <laughs>